and sneaks a quick single in. Catch it is the call. Irfan Khan Niazi there is a gun fielder. Beautiful angle. Facing the same shot. Gives himself room, comes down the ground. Wonderful shot. This time again. That is nicely carved through the gap. And for four. And decides to go short into the surface. And you called it. He went for the block hole. He's opened the face of the bat, Seifert. From ball one. Shot. That is a smack and a half to end the over. He's bowling slightly slower again today as well. Missed time shot. And they push through for two. And just there, the pace slightly slower from Abrar. Oh, he's lucky that's gone to hand. They run through quick. That a direct hit would have found him here, would have found him short. You could just tell by the desperation of the drive. A direct hit and he was gone. Take that, says Tim Seifert. And this one, he's gone back of the length and Tim Seifert, almost as though he predetermined where it was going to be, gave himself a little bit of room. A good change of pace delivery. Excellent bowling, heavy ball. He just stayed down a little bit and toe end onto his stumps. No one does he get the gap? Yes, he does. That'll race away. Moves across and does the needful, just gets it down to fine leg. And punch the ball down the ground. Bowling. That is a perfect response to power play. And he's striking the ball close to 150. Why not go full and at middle stuff? The perfect Yorker. Nassim Shah was able to execute it to perfection. Short pulled away and hammered into the gap and the boundary. There's always that barber, barber, barber when he's coming in. The reverse sweep and it's played beautifully. Timed superbly. Moves across and sweeps it. One bounce into the fence. Yes, 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 the top yes, yes, edge and it has worked. No, yes, no. Nassim Shah had it, didn't, and in the end, didn't. Tried to smother it, got the top edge. And Nassim Shah actually got there. I actually don't think he needed to kind of go to ground. Round the wicket. How's that to spoil the party? Mark Chapman. For Pakistan. Wow! Now that is clean and straight. You just look at oh shy the stumps. He was gone for all money. Yeah, he was backing up way too long. He never realized that the ball went straight to Barber and was very, very close. He would have been gone by crucial period oh, I think he's back he's okay has put down well and guess what he makes him pay he makes Pakistan pay for that drop well you asked for some fireworks yeah it was in his zone in his arc a little bit more flight and then and, and outside the off stump that's where he loves it he likes it on the legs also but he likes a bit of width that's his 50. the eighth in t20 international cricket he likes the opposition and likes the venue because he's got a hundred here as well and more importantly has kept new zealand right up there with his chase Make that 69. That is a beautifully controlled strike for four. Gets through. 
Gets through if the car is hands and gets through to the boundary. That's not breaking any partnership. All that is breaking is record sixes here. He was hoping that uh, Foxtorf can play a big shot here and take some pressure off him. And he did it beautifully. Lovely hit. Desperately want to remove Chapman. That is short and that has been smoked. That has gone flat and into the crowd. Freely been brought back from the other end and he's destructive to him. And now Nazim Shah, back of a length from Chapman, climbs all over it, smashes it into the crowd. New Zealand so far doing this in style. He goes short again and just over fine leg. And that'll go to the fence. Where he hit those kind of shots. That is magnificent. That is the best of the lot. Comes down the track and pumps him over Midoff. He's come down the wicket. He's held his shape. Just a punch down the ground. Wonderful timing. Midoff up inside the circle. One of the shots of the match for me. Got ball and it gets past fine leg. The chase is on but to no well. Another boundary. 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. Into the leg side, call for two and Chapman races back. Oh, fabulous running. This has been a display from New Zealand. It's over. Catch and dropped again. That's his third opportunity. I thought this was coming back a little bit harder than it was. It wasn't particularly well hit by Chapman. And you could just see him holding back, thinking it was hit hard. Backs away, gets it over top of point, and that'll go to the fence. This time goes over cover, even better shot. And it's been just cut off for two. A short ball in the air. This should be taken. Abbas Afridi does it himself. So the short ball works for Abbas Afridi. Foxcroft goal. Heavy ball into the ground and just on Foxcroft too quickly. Outside of stuff. Comfortable catch. Does it himself. Gets the breakthrough. Beats him on the inside. This time pulls it and does get the gap and that'll skip away to the fence. Chain Chafridi. Yorker Chapman wants two. It's in a little pocket leg side, so he'll come back. The outside edge doesn't matter. Chapman does it for New Zealand. Walks across for the single and he makes sure that New Zealand go to Lahore with the series level 87 of 42.